Potty training is usually cited as one of the biggest stressors for new owners or even experienced owners alike. In today's video, we're gonna talk about five key mistakes you need to make sure to avoid for you to have the most successful potty training experience. Hey guys, welcome back to Men Pen Nation. My name's Nate, and if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing below. Here at Men Pen Nation, we like to talk about all things miniature pincher, from their care to training and everything in between. The first mistake that we want to talk about is, is not being prepared up front. So prior to getting your Men Pen puppy home, you need to make sure that you get all the required supplies that you're gonna need. Now this is gonna be your leash, your crate, you know, your puppy pads if you're gonna use those, whatever it may be, you just need to make sure because when you bring them home, you're gonna be stressed, there's gonna be a lot going on, and the last thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is try to figure out how to get to a store to or, or order online a bunch of different items for your puppy that needs them right then. So definitely being prepared up front, getting the items you need will definitely help you, um, set you up for success. The next thing you need to think about is, is you need to not make the mistake of just opening the door and just letting them run wild. Because you have to remember where they came from. You just brought them most likely from you know, a breeder's house or another facility, and they were in close, uh, you know, confined quarters with their mother, with their siblings, and now you need to kind of replicate that for them. So even from day one, you need to physically carry them inside and you need to take them to the spot that they're gonna live and slowly expand from there. So this goes back to having that crate set up, that home for them away from home from day one. So you can bring them right to it. They can learn that that's where they're gonna be and that's their little home. Uh, so definitely have that set up and make sure you don't make the mistake of just letting them go wild. It'll definitely save you a lot of time and a lot of time cleaning up mess, messes, that's for sure. Now that you're actually talking about potty training them, you need to make sure that you're following a set schedule. Now, this could be you know, every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes, probably no more than 30 minutes, but this is actual set schedule that you're gonna be taking them outside or taking them to the place that they're um, gonna be using um, the restroom at. So you need to make sure that you, are, that you have this set schedule, that everyone knows the schedule, and that you set some type of alarm you know, on your phone, on a watch, and that you keep to it. Um, so there's gonna be times that, obviously you're not gonna want to, and this could go on throughout the night, you know, into many days, but the, the more you do it, the more successful you'll be. So definitely set that schedule and stick to it. The next mistake people make is, they take them outside and they make the same first mistake that we talked about of when you bring them home and you let them go wild. So when you take them outside, you need to make sure that you're doing the same routine. So this even starts before you even go outside, actually. This would be when you're going to the door. If you're gonna be using the bell method, you know, training them or whatnot, you, you know, take them to, through the same door every time, you put them on the leash, you know, you carry them out at first, you walk them through, and you, you pick the spot in your yard that you want them to use, or you take them through the puppy pad if that's the method you're using as well, and you make sure that you keep them confined. So this isn't you take them there and then you proceed to walk around the rest of the yard. This is, hey, this is your 10 by foot, you know, 10 by 10 area. And if you need to little fence it off or whatever it may be, something that shows them that this is their area. Because what's gonna help them actually learn that where they need to go is they're gonna go to that area. They're gonna smell their own smell and that's gonna help them, you know, and they wanna replicate what they've done before. So the more they smell that smell, and they go to the same spot consistently, they're gonna learn that this is the spot that I go to use the restroom. I don't use it anywhere else, I go to this little spot here. So you need to have that routine for them. So what happens, like we said, is they start in the spot, but then you let them slowly venture out. You want them to, you know, you feel bad for them, you whatnot. During the potty training phase, you have to have them in that same spot. Which kind of leads right into our last mistake. And with all of these previous four things we've talked about, it's, it's staying consistent or the lack of staying consistent. So every step of this way, 
that was the main thing that we wanted to focus on was you have to set the schedule and be consistent with it. You know, you have to limit their area, but you have to be consistent. If you do that the first hour they're home and then you let them out, then nothing's going to happen. So during this whole potty training phase, which could take, you know, a couple weeks at minimum, you have to stay consistent. And then also the biggest thing is when the routine, you have to stay consistent with the routine and each time you feel like you need to break it, just remember that each time you break it is just probably at least another day longer that it's going to be in this phase. So stay consistent. Um, keep them with one owner. That's usually the easiest for us is one person is kind of designated to do it. So if you have multiple members in your family, let them visit, let them do that. But know during this phase that going outside, doing this, it has to be the same person. This will help your puppy much better to be able to recognize what they need to do and be able to become a good addition to your family and not become frustration for you or your family.